Rivers run dry, dust breaths in the air. Two dark days, do you have a tear to spare? Make a promise, the world awaits. It's heavy, just breathing through this debate. Start up, come on, start up. When they love you too much, no, it's fame, fake, or even hate. Don't be scared if the way paralyzes you stayed at the gate. No, it's a lot to take in, it's designed to know when, don't wait. Don't be scared when the way paralyzes you stayed at the gate. Grings, the place in the world, or something like that, most manipulated place in the world. Um, it's uh, three, almost three o'clock. I figured I'd uh, do something different. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I was gonna do a channel text, but I didn't have any energy for it. I did some, but not the, I did the finishing up of one, I put that one. That rabbit right there, it's from that racist movie. At Disney Pool, that's part of uh, what is it called? Uh, Song of the South. It's funny how they have that there. Wait, where rabbit or whatever the hell his name is. This is the Archon, you know, castle. Manipulating society as usual. Uh, do two connections. I don't want to do three. I want to kill myself. I already did two earlier today. Um, who knows what? Yeah, what the future holds. The no idea is to bring the energy here. It's not exactly here to change the world or anything, but well, you never know in the future. Um, but at least you just bring in the alien or spirit energy here to at least give the idea there's something else going on than what you see here in the physical. For those that don't believe in all this. Good afternoon and welcome to the Magic Kingdom. In just a well, minute, I guess that, we will proudly present a magical right. celebration in the I'm going to be magically get the hell away from this area. I, I don't know. I forgot about this going on, but... Please welcome at that, at that, I'm dead. Uh, Olivia that's that I pay attention that much. Okay, all right. All right, we're going to start connections. And, uh... All right. Brought to you by the fifth dimension. That's all for us. Just stay at the game.
before the past. That was like what two years ago. In 1999, I used to work. I used to work here. You know, I used to wash the streets down. You know, like people spill soda and shit everywhere. It's good for it's good for a workout. I give it that. It's good to you know, you're just walking around for eight hours with a posing stuff. <laughs> Not exactly exciting, but let me tell you, you spend a lot of time in your mind, that's for sure. Especially when you're young and pissed off. Um, another thing, I used to live, you know, working in Tomorrowland, Liberty Square, and Main Street. Main Street was the better one. It was out, way out in the front with the buses where nobody was there. I mean, you're out there talking to nobody for eight hours. Maybe seven and a half hours. Yeah. You might get to talk to you every once in a while, but out in front, nobody will come. Nobody will come to you. So uh, another thing, uh, I'm going to mention this again. This is the first time I'm mentioning it. Now those that are some channelers that have been around for a long time, like 10 years or something, they think they know everything. Um, they think that other channelers aren't aren't developed and all that. And probably, probably, you know, I think they hate my guts, but whatever. Um, a lot of them are cult leaders, and they act like a cult leader, they talk like a cult leader. You just kind of see that in their demeanor, it's a cult leader. You know, you're not kissing their ass. So, of course they're not going to like you. Now, if you're doing that, like channeling shit, like, you know, in 10 years, you know, very good act together, and the whole world's going to be fucked up. Yeah, you might want to rethink what the hell you're bringing into the world, but, you know, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. You know, a lot of these older channel owners that have been around for a while are just, just, whatever. Just not good. I don't always have the best intentions, let's put it that way. Especially if they're making a living off of this. A lot of this aren't. And, uh, cause you know, doing this 24 hours a day is just gonna drive you fucking nuts. Uh, especially, we're all trying to figure this all out. But basically, we're going to non-physical reality. And there's different ways of looking at it, but it's talking about and experiencing it a whole different two different things. And that doesn't mean we're, certain people are already experiencing it now, more is gonna increase over time, more actual connections, just more reliance, less reliance on this reality. That's what we're, I mean, obviously others have said that here and there, but that's really the gist of where we're headed. You may talk about the aliens flying around their spaceships, you're going to the colonies and all that. Wahoo, right, a secret space program, turning into a male or woman or whatever the hell it is, or you a cow, go right ahead. But, you know, whatever, whatever forces you, but whatever entertains you, whatever works. But some of that cult leading mentality, I'm just not, uh, I'm on their shit list, but, you know, uh, the numbers are gonna grow, outgrow that, that. Some of these people just like to be worshipped. They wanna be loved. I understand that. Can't be liked by everybody, that's for damn sure. But you're already talking crazy stuff already. And then you get that shit, it's like, damn. It's like, you get tired really easy. Like, you're already talking crazy as it is. You know, it's just not an easy, nothing's easy, but it's just, all right, uh, that's about it. Fifth dimension channeling or one dimension channeling, wherever the hell it is. All right, commencing now.
That's basically we're going through a transition, a major, major transition. As third dimension begins to, it's going to go to a new level of understanding idea systems. It's never going to be the same. Once it hits that peak of human humans transforming into their original form. Being born like this, yes, and you already said, like, yes, the elephant man is a good example of that. Even though the all timers are of, uh, not the all timers, you have your, uh, well, even all timers has that too, but it's more of a different, that's a different ship. Well, yes, that is another disclosure, but it's more of your, um, others with uh, physical diseases, your all We're being blocked at this time, but that's fine. There's an earmark coming, basically. A, a different way of looking at... Realize when you have more people looking like an elephant and a bird person, where their skeleton structures have shifted. And yes, keeping them away from the public. Now it's already going on, such as elephant man syndrome. I mean, your giants have it too, but there's much more on its way. Those that have like, yes, a lot of, you know, health defects already are going to sh shift into a whole new paradigm. You're in the early stages of it, as we can say. And when people start to see it, now they're going to be shocked by it, but it will be a part of your evolution. Even Anunnaki being to be seen here, much of your Anunnaki plays a big role. As they play a role in that shift, well, mostly it's the Zeta vibration. The Zeta is another version of you. It's different, always going to be different timelines of Zeta that won't be fully understood. There's different worlds of Zeta, but also some Zetas are future humans, but also there's many bird beings that are future humans and cat beings are future humans also. Your animals on your world have realities where it's just them. Your giraffe people, and especially your, your ape. So, the Zeta is more known because we're kind of a mixture of all of that. Just like you. We're just another format. We're basically part of your disclosure program. It's like your Bashar, but we're a part of disclosure in a way that's unnatural. Well, like, you know, you need a definition of an alien. The Zeta of uh, disconnected from emotions as we are warning emotions through you, but you're warning from us of what we can bring in with a fourth dimensional energy, so it's an exchange. We warn more emotions from you, and you warn more about fourth dimensional energies and going into a technology age of AI. These are the AIs that you're bringing into environment, which is connected to the Zetas, but not just us. It's just connected to Syrians, it's connected to all different beings. And realize not everybody's gonna get along with everything. Every information is coming in because every alien being is different. I mean, as humans, do you all agree on everything? No. So how are you all going to agree with alien information? It's pretty much impossible. And that's where some people that are star seeds believe only things should be only one way and that's it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there's other ways too. There's the wrong way. There's a left way, there's a right way, there's all different types of ways that many humans don't want to believe it. Just the same thing as people out here don't want to believe in alien energies. Oh yeah, um, comment on a channel on uh, recent autism. That word could not, was not coming through, it kept getting blocked. That was part of the channel and that's what the, they're trying to reach. Every time they're trying to reach that word, it just kept getting blocked.
Breeze is no back. Spend some time. Tillian visitation. Not that you really need us anymore. You got it all straightened out. We're um, part of much of your military at this time. Uh, your your random situation is mostly just a uh, like it's like kids in high school fighting over you know territory disputes. They're not really liking each other, and they're just you know they're just picking a fight with each other basically. They're just using bombs instead of uh, fists. Uh, I don't think either one of them would really survive in a fist fight. Uh, but this is has a lot to do with. Just, they're just not liking each other. And eventually, you know, it's kind of like you have to get that out of your system. You, you can beat the crap out of each other, be angry at each other, but eventually you'll make peace. And that's kind of what's happening. Iran's going to eventually, the Sharia law is all going to be revoked eventually. Uh, it's, it's been talked about. But they don't want to, you know, they feel like they're going to be hurting their God and all that. But Sharia law is going to eventually be pulled, and when that happens, you're going to see a lot more fighting and explosions and all. They might blame somebody else for it. Most likely, they will. But you're heading into that timeline where that's going to occur. Uh, that's when, yeah, when the less suppression of, of when the less suppression of, of feminine energies are going. To, that's when your change is really going to start to activate. Uh, your Middle East is going to go through a whole. Right now, it's it's not really liking what it is. It's kind of the old guard, but it's also hiding a lot of information there. It's kind of like holding back. So it lets go. The new energy is coming into the environment. That's when you have your shift completely changed. So when female energies become, or female individuals become more you know, freedom, that freedom they can whoever they want. As it's happening in Saudi Arabia to a certain extent, you might see more earthquakes. You might see a lot more, you know, because in more, more of the feminine architecture of your past will be resurrected. A lot of it's more of the male currently, and the feminine is buried. Atlantis has a lot of feminine energies too. That's another reason why I was buried. So when that becomes more a part, so when the female females release are released from their captivity here they will express themselves more you will have less manipulators too a lot of females do that for survival reasons some of it's ego uh, some of it's just society some are just weak uh, there's different reasons for it some like power over others that's why they'll never get the power back if you use your power and influence over others your chances of you getting your magic back is not likely if you're abusing what what power you do have currently, and the universe sees it. Now, some use the universe as a manipulation. As basically, the universe is on my side. Look all the, look all the stuff I own. Look all the pretty I am. Look all this. Look all that. Yeah, it's kind of uh, that's a third dimensional way of looking at it. There's much more as in depth that many aren't really to see. It's like, yeah, I might have all these objects, look all these pretty things, and I have a demon inside of me too, by the way. I'm not gonna mention that. So, we're just connected to drug abuse and mental um, disabilities. Because some of them just aren't ready to let go of their old, yeah, they like control. So when you like controlling over others, you pull in all these other energies into your life that are just, and they enhance it. I want power of what I'm allowed to have is power over others and eventually we'll get back to them. It takes time for that because they give many chances of ch changing their ways. Most of them don't. And eventually it all comes tumbling down. All right, that's all we got.
cut it off. 